I have to hurry up. Break as much as you can, people. It's insanely hot in here. John can't handle this at all. Oh yes, this is it. Welcome to the first ever grand final of Ireland's future is mine. Yes, that's right. Out of hundreds of entries, two schools have coded, battled and built their way to the very tippy top to earn their place in this spectacular eSports arena, which I must say, John, is looking so impressive. Our finalists have just 90 minutes to create an impressive build in Minecraft Education Edition. And here's what they have to do. In a race against the clock, each team will have to build their very own fun fair of the future in our custom built world. Their fun fair needs to be sustainable, it needs to be accessible for all, and above all else, it needs to be fun. Teams consist of four builders and four planners who must work together to complete their builds before the time runs out. Not only will the winners be crowned the best Minecraft Education Edition builders in the country, they're also going to get their hands on, get this John, 30 grand spanking new laptop devices for their school. It's been an amazing competition so far and I don't know about you MC, but I think we're in for an epic final. But before we get the teams out here, let's take a look at what they had to do to get here today. Schools from around the country took part in a Minecraft Education Edition competition. Their task? Build a sustainable version of their communities. Hundreds of schools entered and four schools made it to the semi-finals as provincial champions with some seriously impressive builds. The semi-finalists went head-to-head -head in a live build competition at Microsoft DreamSpace in Dublin, where a panel of judges would choose two schools to go through to the final. Their challenge? Build an accessible public transport of the Five, future. Four, three, two, one. Off we go! Each team had just 90 minutes to complete their build. The first semi-final saw Leinster champions Moivor Primary School in Westmead take on the Munster champions St. Bridget's from County Cork. I am building a maglev train and I am building the accessibility for blind, deaf and people in wheelchairs. Everyone has their own bit. Like I'm doing walkways in cars and then Martina here will be doing um, anything in the air. The second semi-final saw Ulster face Connacht as Rack Wallace from Monaghan face St. Hughes from County Leitrim. On our screens, people with dyslexia find it easier to read by the shape of the words and in a font that is dyslexia friendly. We're pretty much halfway down, a bit more than halfway. Uh, try and keep it up. Try and keep that pace up. After the build, each team had five minutes to present their work to the judges. The project manager and I came up with this strategy for the build and who would build what in our build session. We built hubs and towns, so if we wanted to go from Ivo to Dublin, we could take a giant taxi to Athlone and then the Maglev to Dublin. We learned from the Irish Wheelchair Association that to make a train accessible, we needed to either have a ramp or have the train at the same level as the platform. Welcome to iCraft, inclusive, connect, rural, accessible, futuristic transport, a revolutionary transport system. Every team performed brilliantly, but ultimately only two could go through to the final. The winner is a Leinster team. Yeah! Going through to the final is our Connacht champions. Yeah! So, there you have it. It's Leinster's Moivor National School versus St. Hugh's National School of Connacht in the final of Ireland's Future Is Mine. Bring it on! Bring it on indeed! Let's get the teams out here! Meet the blue team, our Leinster legends from Moivor National School. The planners are Recorder Jake, who always feels right at home on the farm, which is great because he lives on one. Coach Robbie is a sports fanatic and loves to win. Project manager Rachel is a keen baker. Victory today could be the icing on the cake. And researcher Daisy, call her Daisel. Everybody else does. On to the builders. Jamie, a foodie, but all he wants today is the taste of victory. 
Kyle, the blue team's green-fingered gardening enthusiast. Next to Zorla, whose biggest fans are Lucy and Daisy, her cat and dog. And Holly, whose inspiration is Leonardo da Vinci, her tortoise. And taking on Moivore National School is the green team, St. Hugh's National School from County Leitrim. Meet our Connacht Conquerors planners. Recorder Jamie, Jim Bob for short, even though it's two names instead of one. Researcher Emily, a brilliant roller skater who knows that her team are on a roll. Project manager Orla says she once tried to catch some fog, but missed. And coach Dara, he can milk a cow and ride a tractor, just not at the same time. The builders. First up is Dahi, known as Dot, spot on when it comes to laying the blocks. Next up we have Mona, who plays the tin whistle and has a dog called Banjo. Or is it the other way around? Sai plays the piano, but the laptop keyboard is also music to her ears. And Amy, she has six siblings, but today is all about her seven teammates. Let the build begin. Now, Orla over on Blue Team. It's super exciting to be here. How are you yeah. feeling? Really excited, definitely, because we've been waiting for ages and it's finally here and it's just so exciting. Let's go to Robbie. Do you think today is going to be tough? Uh, I think we have it in the bag. Robbie, <laughs> stop. <laughs> and only though, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm supposed to be a bit nervous and that, but yeah, I'm confident for us though. And Mona from the Green Team. Do you think that your team is going to be able to build an epic fun fair of the future? To be honest, we've worked really hard on this and um, I think we'll pull it off. Dara, do you think you're going to be able to work well as a team? I hope so and I think so. And I think we can win this if we do work hard enough. And how are your nerves? 50-50. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of nerves is a good thing though, right? Yeah. Good stuff. Now, there's one more thing we need before we can get going, John. Oh yeah? What's that? Well, I mean, listen, I don't fancy picking between these teams, do you? Absolutely not. Well, the good news is we don't have to because we have enlisted the help of two top Minecraft masters, real experts who have defeated more than their fair share of creepers. <laughs> creepers. It's time to meet our judges. With a massive 1.75 million YouTube subscribers, our first judge is a member of Minecraft's famous little club. It's Ropo. Yo, yo, it's Ropo, guys. Welcome back for a brand new video. Our next judge has an incredible 1.2 million followers and over 8 million likes on TikTok. He's the leader of the short gang. It's Classic Riley. Minecraft, but it's real life. <laughs> Time to find what? Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry to say these Minecraft suggestions aren't working. Ropo and Riley, we are thrilled to have you here today. Now, I can only imagine that you're just as excited as myself and MC to see what these two teams can come up with. Yeah, John, you've got it. We are super excited. I mean, we're about to start, and I, I, I think I think Riley is just as excited as they are. <laughs> I'm super excited. I am so excited to see what these two teams can do, especially in a small build area. I'm. I have a feeling this, these are going to be some amazing builds. Absolutely brilliant to have you here with us. OK, teams, now you must create a fun fair for the future of Ireland. Now, a fun fair that is sustainable and accessible for everyone, of course, but it also needs to be loads and loads of fun. Each team has four builders and four planners. Your build area is 40 blocks long and 25 blocks wide with limitless height. And you must have a minimum of two attractions because well, it wouldn't be that fun of a fun fair if you didn't, would it? I mean, listen, I'm expecting at least five, but I'm not a judge, so who's to say? Now, blue team, are you ready? Yeah! yeah! Green team, are you ready? Yeah! Judges, are you ready? Yeah! Well, in that case, you can start your final build in five, four, three, two, one, and they're off! Start building, okay. Start building. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> First break all of the floor. Oh, there's our school. Break as much as you can, people. Yeah, as much. Come on. Just spam that thing. Break it down four. Four blocks. Four blocks, OK? Right, the build is underway. Time to check in with our judges. Ropo, Riley, what exactly are we looking for here? Well, John, as you can see, we had that parameter where you were allowed to go four blocks below. It looks as if the blue team are really taking that. And, I mean, are they going to waste a lot of time excavating all of these blocks? Possibly. I'm not 100% sure. I am curious to see what they're going to build. It is a fun fair of the future. 
could it be a roller coaster, possibly? I mean, let, let's be honest. It better be a roller coaster. Be we, a roller coaster. We, 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 we want to see roller coasters, but we also want to see something that maybe we haven't seen before. They do have unlimited height. If they're making a Ferris wheel, if they're making a roller coaster, if they're making anything, how high will they build their builds? When you're looking at these two teams, is there a team that looks a little bit more panic or focused, or what are we seeing here? If we look over to the green side, they're, they're excavating a bit, but you can already see they're laying down a concrete structure of some sort. It looks clean at the moment, but over on the blue team, what is happening here? They are spending so much time basically getting all of these blocks out. Is it gonna pay off in the long run? I don't know. Remember, we've only got 90 minutes, so time is a big part of this. Okay, so you're saying the blue team had a slow start, kind of getting their foundations laid. Do you think that could benefit them in the long run? We are not so sure what they're building yet, but I feel like the blue team could make something very cool. Guys, how do you feel about making a decision at the end? Yeah, this is the one thing that both of us are kind of apprehensive about, but I mean, I'm a super mean person, so I can't wait. <laughs> Jokes, jokes, jokes. Now, it's gonna be super tough, but I mean, these two teams are the best in the country, so we know that our task of picking a winner is gonna be very difficult, but somebody's gotta do it, so uh, yeah. It'll be interesting to see. I'm just glad it's not us. Literally was about to say it, John. So, very best look, we'll leave you to it. See you guys. Oh, I know it's early days yet, but have the blue team dug themselves into a bit of a hole. Guys, you have to hurry up. This is what we've done, and this is what they've... Lads, stop Guys, panicking. Just calm down, keep to yourselves, and do what you have to do. We practice. Yeah, this. come on. We're nearly done, it's okay. okay. It's a bit of a rough start, but it's grand. We can get back into it. Well, while Robbie is looking to steady the ship, the green team are looking at the clock. Here, we better get going on, because look at the time. Guys, make sure that water is completely even. That's the third time you told me that. Sorry, but it's just like, it looks quite messy. We're more fighting than we are collaborating. <laughs> Stay calm. I'll focus on all the problems. You don't have to worry about anything. Just focus on what you're building and think <laughs> it's okay. Thanks, Dara. You're welcome. Just breathe in and out. Now, before a single... Not even one. ...block could be placed here today, the teams needed some time to brainstorm and plan their spectacular builds. So myself and MC here popped along to the schools after their semi-final victories to find out what they were planning for the final challenge. Can I have a big cheer for our finalists? This is the mighty River Shannon, the longest river in Ireland. On one side of the bridge, you're in County Cavan. On the other, County Leitrim. And just up the road there are some of the best Minecraft Education Edition builders in Ireland. No. No, not them. These guys. I've travelled all the way here to St. Hughes to tell them what they're going to be building for the grand final. Woo! I'm here in lovely Moivor in Westmead, a county known for its lakes, its singers, and now its Minecraft Education Edition builders. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi. Do you know why I'm here? Yeah. So your teacher let me know that you're not getting enough homework. So I brought some maths books with me. No, I'm only joking. I'm actually here to tell you the challenge for the final of Ireland's Future is Mine. Yeah! We're going to be asking you to build a fun fair of the future for Ireland. Are you ready to start planning? Yeah! Well, let's get to work then. Come on, let's go. Ideas, let's go. Talk. Brainstorm. Go. Hit me. Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel, very good. A roller coaster, maybe? Okay, so picture this. You're in the amusement park, and then in the distance, you see this hairy kind of forehead with two eyes poking out. And then around it are these little square <laughs> merry-go-round Minecraft horses. We're going to call it the Mary Claire Go Round. <laughs> it's a bit creepy. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a good idea anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's get back to work. I, I had an idea. It's a roller coaster called the Catcher. So there's a giant hand that you that you what are you laughing at? There's a giant hand that you stand on, right? And it launches you into the sky, and hopefully it'll catch you. What do you think? So good. Love your enthusiasm. Uh, health and safety 
Probably, probably not a flyer. We thought of some bumper cars. Very cool. So have we got any ideas? Yeah, a dance for that creates electricity. Um, Great idea. OK, looks like you've got loads to work with. I'll leave you to it. Lon. Bye. Bye. Some exciting ideas there, and already things are starting to take shape in the team's builds. OK, Dottie, great job on that. Great job. I, I'll go start place down concrete. It's blue, light blue concrete now. What are they doing? Don't mind what they're doing. Just what focus on me, OK? What, yeah. yeah, Robbie's right. Robbie is a good savvy coach. <laughs> We were a little bit worried about the blue team right away. They were taking a lot of time excavating all of this dirt. But now something seems to be coming together. And I'm really excited to see what this base floor of the blue block is going to be. Well, if we come over to the green team, they're already starting to build high structures. We can already see a difference in what both teams are doing. It's only been on the last five, ten minutes, and already they have done some amazing builds. Like, it's, it's, you can clearly start to see what they're starting to shape and form. They're might be making a Ferris wheel on the green team. I mean, it's it's exciting right now. I have to say, both teams are laser focused, aren't they, John? Absolutely, MC. It looks really close. Two fantastic designs coming together. I just hope that they can pull it off on time. But look, there's only one way to find out. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to the grand final of Ireland's Future Is Mine. Our finalists are against the clock and block by block. They are bravely battling it out to impress our expert judges with their fun furs of the future. So let's check in and see how those builds are shaping up. All right, Riley, so check it out. It is nice to see how these teams are working together. We've got the four at the back who don't actually have control of this build, but they are planning meticulously and relaying that information to their builders to get this thing done. It is essential that the team at the back are able to all communicate effectively so that they can pass on the information to the build team. Exactly. And I've got to be honest, I think both teams are doing a fantastic job of that so far. I mean, looking at these builds, things are going pretty well. It looks as if the blue team are working on a roller coaster. We know that this is so time consuming. Yes. So if you're going to do this, you got to just get on it. There's only one person doing it right now. So is that going to be a bad move in the long run? Should a couple of people be doing this? I'm not really sure. But I'm curious to see what the green team is doing. The Ferris wheel, I mean, we all know making circles in Minecraft is a nightmare. Oh, it's, it's all about worst. blocks and squares, but it has gone perfectly for these guys. But it's kind of hard to see what the other rides are. Clearly looks like it's going to be a multi-level build. They're spending a lot of time placing floors. If you think about it, what's our parameters? We've got 40 by 25. I mean, do the quick math on that. No, let's not. But <laughs> it's a lot of blocks. So, I mean, these guys have got their work cut out for them. I hope the green team are not biting off more than they can chew. Geez, we need to actually hurry up a wee bit. Guys, instead of putting all the designs and all the floors first, how about build the floors first? Yeah. Because you're going to forget about half of them if you're just completely putting in all the interiors. Look at theirs, they have so much stuff done. They have a load of stuff done, yeah, but we're focusing on the floors. They don't have four floors, I bet you. Ooh, the green team seem a little worried about the competition, but over on the blue team, Robbie is keeping his builders in check. Jim, you're on Inky, are you? Yeah, I'm on Inky. Oh, that's great. Well, yeah, yeah. You're doing well now, Orla, you're doing yeah. the other World Cafe, aren't you? I am. Oh my God, guys, this looks so good. Look, oh my guys. God, yeah, that looks so much better. How does our builders feel? Confident, yeah? Yeah. That's yeah, good, I that's good. Really yeah, good. yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. feel okay. That's not good enough, Holly. Well, that's what you get. Now, lots of work going on here. I don't want to distract you too much. I just want to ask you, how's everything going? Great, yeah, great. I'm confident. Who's doing what here? Kyle's building the low gravity room. Oh, wow. And, yeah, and then Orla's building an underwater cafe. Jamie, you're doing the upstairs cafe, are you? Yes. Does it look good or no? Let me have a check. Not bad, Jamie. I love the rust Yeah, clock. I love And it's timber, right. so that's good. Yeah. yeah, the whole thing is timber. Robbie, without revealing too much, because St. Hughes are in earshot, what can we expect? A lot of colours, I guess, and fun stuff. And it'd be entertaining, that's what I'm saying. Fantastic. I wonder how your competitors are getting on. Mona. Yeah? You see here on the stairs, there's no white on these. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's just something Emily spotted. OK, green team, I know you're busy, but how are we getting on? 
good. good. And what stage of the build are we at, roughly? Um, there's four floors, and um, they're just wor working on each floor. Orla, do you think you're working well as a team? Yeah, I think I think everybody's listening to each other. You need to have cooperation. You need to listen to each other. You can't just be going off doing your own thing. So I, th I think we all know that like listening is like the key thing to everybody. Can you give us a little hint about what we can expect? Fun and futuristic. Fun and, and futuristic. futuristic. Yeah. I love it. Well, guys, you look very busy, so I'm going to let you at it. Good on you. Judges, what do you reckon? All right, so check it out, Riley. We are over here looking at the blue team. Are we getting like a little diner cafe underwater? I mean, sitting down, having a nice little soda, and you're looking at an aquarium, and also people going by on a roller coaster? Whew, I'm starting to love this build. I think I want to go here. Let's go check out over on the green side. There are futuristic vibes coming on here, and accessibility, I mean, are we looking at this tall tower being some sort of an elevator so they can get to the different floors? Some of the patterns here are looking really, really nice, really fresh. At the moment, I'm not so sure what their rides are. This is definitely a Ferris feel, which I love, but I'm curious to see what their second attraction in the fun fair will be. Well, Ropo and Riley seem intrigued, and so are we. Yeah, but I wonder where the teams got their inspiration from. Well, let's find out. Now, there are eight players on each team at the final today, but there was a whole classroom back at Moivor and St. Hughes to help research and design the builds. Each team took a different approach, and for St. Hughes Funfair of the future, they looked to the past. For our Funfair, we're getting inspired by like our local history, and we have like a book which is called Fire on the Mountain and this has like all our local history. Uh, so basically I'm just reading here about the Miles McTigge. He was the first person in Dora to invent a mill. This story has inspired one of our attractions. Accessibility is a key factor in the build and Moy Ford did some one-on-one -on -one research by speaking to their schoolmate Aaron's mum. We'd like to focus on Aaron's abilities rather than his disabilities. So what's he like doing at the moment? Um, he's walking, using his walker, and sometimes he uses his wheelchair when he gets tired. Does Aaron ever feel left out? I think he does sometimes. If he was going to a park, I would ask him if he would like to go and play, and he would say no, but I think it's just because there's nothing um, suitable for him to use in there. Uh, what do you think Aaron would like in a fun fair? I think to be able to go on every ride, just like everyone else can and if there was maybe a harness in the seats to buckle Aaron in. We don't want to exclude anyone from our fun fair. We want it accessible for everyone. It's just really not fair if some people can use the fun fair rides and some people just can't. Accessibility is one important aspect and so is sustainability, which St. Hughes have been looking into. To be sustainable, in the Ferris wheel, when it's spinning, it's going to create hydroelectricity. We're just trying to build practice wheel, just to see like how everything fits and all. Well, we planned it out on paper first, and then we kind of practiced it on Minecraft to see if we had like enough room and stuff. Well, you have to actually know where you're building the blocks to put them. Sometimes you make mistakes, and then we like draw it out in the board to see how could we fix that mistake. So, Orla, you've decided to use a theme from the past in your fun fair of the future. Can you tell me a little bit about that? I knew a lot about our history, so we were like combining things from like our books. We had a history book, and we were combining a lot of things from that. And we were like, oh, what if we make it like this? It's a very ambitious build, isn't it? We were, pre we were pretty happy that like once we thought of it, we knew there was like not really any going back. Dara, talk to me about accessibility. How have you made your fun fair accessible? Well, pods and uh, the elevator mm -hmm. and roller coaster. Excellent, well, I'm gonna leave you to it. Okay, thank you. Now, blue team, I hear that Jamie's uncle was actually the inspiration for your build. Oh yeah, um, yeah, because he went to, where did he go, Cyprus, I think. Ayan Appa. Yeah, Ayan Appa in Cyprus, and he, yeah, he's seen some rides in Funfair, in a Funfair over there. Cool. So, yeah. So a lot of the fun aspects came from that, but what sustainable aspects do you have in your build? Well, we have our own farm here for the cafe. So we have so all, and it's all plant-based. Carbon neutral. Carbon neutral, yeah. and what does that mean? Carbon neutral, I don't know. We did learn this stuff, it's just gone out of their head. It's the pressure, it's the pressure. You're giving out as much carbon as you're taking in. Good man, Robbie, we got there in the end. <laughs> Robbie, oh, Robbie.
Guys, please, someone do me a favor. So I want you to stand in front of the theme park. Tell me, tell me if Legend Land looks okay. I actually really like that. That's good. It looks as if we have names to the parks now, which is pretty cool. We've got Legend Land. That is a pretty sick name, Ropo. It's kind of a theme park I would like to visit. For sure, for sure. The green team, they also have a name for their theme park. Doropia? Doropia? I like it, Doropia. I think it's something to do with the town that they're from. <sighs> it is very impressive. Honestly, I think Orti will need to fund them to make their own theme park somewhere in Ireland. I mean, that's not a bad idea. This looks like it's going to go right down to the wire. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, already we have St. Hughes, and they've taken a multi-story approach to their fun fair. Yeah, and then Moivor, they've taken the name of their fun fair and put it in block letters. See what I did there, <laughs> right at the front. You're not going to miss Moivor when you rock up. Now, unless you've been living under a block... <laughs> Very good, yeah. Good. You'll definitely have heard of Minecraft. But just in case you haven't, or if you're having a tough time explaining it to others, like your parents, here's our quick guide to Minecraft Education Edition for dummies. Ooh, let's check it out. Yeah. In Minecraft, everything is made from blocks of stuff. Stuff like wood, grass, stone, sand, iron, diamond, netherite. Oh, that's expensive stuff. You need to mine, duh, and craft, obviously. Stuff to make more stuff. And you're not alone when playing. Oh, no. There are other living things in the game called mobs. Some mobs are nice, like sheep. <laughs> Cows and llamas. Ah, I love llamas. And some are not so nice, like skeletons, creepers, and endermen. <laughs> there are two main types of game modes. Survival, where you have to, well, survive. So you need to eat, sleep, build shelters, mine resources, and also uh, try to stay alive. Then there's creative mode, where the world is your oyster. You have unlimited resources. You can fly. <laughs> Look at me. Wee <laughs> oh, and you can build whatever the heck you like. You can code too, so you can build big things pretty fast. Oh, and a word of warning, don't oh. attack the beehives. Oh. It won't end well. Oh. Builds are looking incredible. I mean, it's a real roller coaster. The blue team are even building one, along with a climbing wall and a mighty tower. While over on the green team, they've built a super tall structure with four levels. I don't know how they're going to finish it on time. Builder Dahi seems confident though. Yeah, we're doing absolutely epic. Go on, guys. Jess. Keep on going and doing the good work. Doors in the pods, yes. Doors in the pods, guys. Doors in the pods. 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 I should make a band. Yeah, I know. Now, as anyone who's ever played the game knows, working with liquids can be a little bit tricky, as Amy from St. Hugh's is about to find out. What? Do you think those are cauldrons? What just happened? Holy mum. Get a bucket. How do I get a bucket? That went down here. Dahi hell. I'm coming. Dahi! Now don't you dare blame oh me. Oh my god. Who keeps on putting this water down? Don't tell me you put that down. I thought this purple thing was a cauldron and tried to put lava in and the lava went everywhere. That's <laughs> oh, done, Amy. There you go. Thanks. Do Sorry. not stress. Messages from Orla. Thanks, Orla. Guys, you don't worry. Just sit back and relax and enjoy the cinema experience. <laughs> well, crisis averted on the green team and over on the blue team, things seem to be coming along nicely. Wait, Jimmy, what, what do you have left to build? I'm building a pad. OK, uh, Holly, what do you have left to build? Um, I'm just putting in jukeboxes. OK, uh, Kyle, what do you have left to build? I'm building geothermal pipes. OK, Orla, what do you have left to build? Uh, just the entrance and I'm completely done. Don't, don't forget to name every ride. OK. Get the sign. Kyle done that already. Good boy. Guys, I have an idea, please, because we need something. God. What if we do a hot air balloon ride? Oh my God, yes! yes. yes. Make that, Ola. You make that. Oh my God, you legend, Ola. Hot air balloon. Okay, so we are seeing these builds develop. They are going super well. 
But we do have to be serious about this. We have a lot of little check marks we have to get done. This thing has to be fun. It has to be sustainable. It has to be accessible. They are doing an amazing job with what the prompt is. They are definitely using sustainable materials. If we look at the blue team, they're made a roller coaster out of wood. Over here on the green team, these pods, they're not just for the Ferris wheel. They go around this entire park. The accessibility is insane. That is pure genius. It's so cool. This is going to be an unbelievably difficult decision for us to make later on. How are we going to choose? This is going to be very difficult, Ropo. OK, so right now, the teams are neck and neck. And there's not long left until their time will be up and we'll be announcing a winner. Oh, I can't wait. I just hope that they get their bills finished on time. Only one can be crowned a champion. Who's it going to be? Join us after the break to find out. Welcome back to the final of Ireland's Future is Mine. Our two finalists, St. Hugh's National School in Leitrim and Moivor National School from Westmeath, have just minutes left to put their finishing touches on their fun fair of the future. I have to say, it is very tense down here in our arena. Ropo, Riley, what's it like for you guys? It's hot. It's insanely hot in here. It is crazy. They have a 40 by a 25 block limit. That's not that much for a fun fair but they are able to build as tall as they want. Clearly, you can see they have taken full advantage of their small space. Both builds are gigantic. 100%. Now, we are seeing a lot of things that we wanted to see. It's all about sustainability, and it looks as if we have got some daylight sensors over in the blue team that are actually representing solar panels, which is a great little touch to this design. Now, if we look at some of their attractions, it looks like they have made a zip line and a rock climbing wall. This place looks so much fun. And a lovely little touch on this rock climbing wall is when you get to the top, you smash that bell to show that you've got there. So, I mean, this place has nailed the fun aspect. Now, if we look over at the green team, it looks like they're building a maze at the top. Again, the roller coaster. As we go down, I think they're making a haunted house. I'm not 100% sure, but it's it's starting to look, it's starting to shape together. I think you could be right on the haunted house. I'm having a little peek in here. It's a little bit dark. It's a little bit creepy. I mean, I'm actually leaving. It's a bit scary for me. I'll uh, take your word for I, it. I'm going, I'm, going gonna, I'm going to go somewhere else. I love how futuristic it is the blocks, how tall it is. It just gives me future vibes, especially with the colors. I think it is a beautiful, beautiful fun fair, and I really want to visit it. I'm just concerned about time. So we'll see what happens. Now, we weren't going to let everybody else have all the fun, so we decided to have our own chunk of the action when MC and I took on our very own Minecraft challenge. And here's how it went. Yeah, let's see this. Okay, MC, it is survival mode. The object of the game is to build a shelter and survive the night. Are you ready? Oh, I was born ready. I'm going to call the world Leash, um, because, I mean, Leash is my whole world, <laughs> John. Uh, are you in? Okay, I'm trying to find you. I'm not chopping down cheese to get water or anything. I'm trying to find you straight away, I promise. Oh, there's tulips. Here we go. I see you. I'm behind you. Look, there's a horse on top of that thing. <gasps> John! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you look... <laughs> Right, I'm running. See you later. I'm getting out of here. I'm surviving the night. You have to survive for me first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get some trees. <laughs> At least looks beautiful. I know, right? I have enough to make a crafting table. Ha ha! Okay, that's crafting table. And now I can make sticks, which I know are very important, to make weapons so that I can survive the night. Ha ha, yes. Ha, <laughs> come at me, creepers. Ooh, a duck. It's a chicken! Oh my god! I'm gonna hit the chicken with a sword. We're having chicken tonight, baby! <laughs> oh, there's another chicken! Oh, it's a baby chicken! Aw! Sneak attack, sneak attack, sneak attack. Wah! 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 I died! Ha 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 ha! He's playing dirty. Nightfall is coming, MC. What are you going to do? I don't know. I'm going to go steal all your weapons or something now because I'm after losing all of my stuff. Um, OK, so it's getting dark. I have a crafting table. I'm currently trying to make sticks so I can make a weapon. Um, but I'm really racing against the clock here. Yeah, you and me both. I can only imagine what the pressure of our two school teams feels. OK, I've made, um, I've made an axe instead of a sword. I've nothing to defend myself. I've no shelter. And now I'm currently floating in water. Ah. Ah. 
spiders. What? Uh, I'm fighting a spider. Uh, and he's, he's, help, MC, help. Oh, I'm look. sorry, I killed you earlier on. The moon is a block. I just noticed that. <laughs> yeah, it's jumping at me. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. Mm. Ha. <laughs> <gasps> Mary Claire. Yeah. I died. I was blown up by a creeper. It happened. And now I've got nothing now to start all over again. Okay. We need to build shelters quick because that thing was scary. I've seen no zombie action yet. I've just been chilling in a hole, banging some minerals, chopping some trees. Ah! <laughs> oh my God. Here comes a creeper. <laughs> and zombies. Uh, MC, it's terrible out here. There are zombies. There are creepers. Look at them. <laughs> Go for the high ground. Uh, the zombies can climb, MC. The zombies can climb. <laughs> I don't think they can swim. They can swim! <laughs> I thought they couldn't swim. I thought they had the perfect strategy. Are you making good progress? How's your shelter coming along? What shelter? <laughs> hey, there's a creeper swimming after me. <laughs> no! Are you in trouble? <gasps> you got slain by a zombie. Well, it's morning and we didn't survive the night without getting killed um, multiple times. So I think it's safe to say that we're not Minecraft experts, John. But hey, it was a lot of fun running for our lives from zombies, right? Yeah, and at the end of the day, it's still lovely leash. All right, everyone, five minutes remaining. Get your final touches done now. Guys, just go around everywhere and make sure that the white strip is there. Yeah, where did you say there was a hole in the shot tower? Oh, yeah, one second, oh, Emily. Oh, no, third, third floor, um, third floor, third floor, third floor. Yeah, okay, right. Yeah, Amy, Amy, oh, no. can you go down to the river and try fix it? Because it looks yeah. so bad. Oh, guys, 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 guys. On the elevator, there's a huge gap. Where is it? Where are you? On the left one, the left one. Where are you? On the left elevator. Is the river okay? I think we can't do anything with the river. No, just try your best. Try and get it even, okay? I haven't heard Mona talking in a while. Well, any crack. <laughs> guys, 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 the water. I know I'm fixing it. There's something there in the water beside the pod. The water's oh! up. The water's up twice, in know. two places. Oh, crap. Oh. Break it, break it, break it. Oh, get that glass, get that glass. Glass, 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 glass. Where's the glass here? Okay, go, go. Press it, the Ferris wheel is broken, guys. Wait, what? Where? Where? Look, look, look. Where is it? The blue, the bluey one. Oh, I don't know where. I don't know. Just, just. Uh, what is wrong with it? What is wrong with I, it? I don't know. Emily just said that, that something was wrong. Mona, how are we getting on? Uh, good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Everybody is rushing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of uh, noises. So, what has been the trickiest part so far? Just like remembering everything and hoping to get it done in time. While the green team struggled to get everything finished, the blue team have found time to build a hot air balloon. Hmm, I wonder if they have time to build anything else. Just something popped into my head there. Any, uh, any chance of the Mary Claire go around going in? No, no. No. I'm getting quite a unanimous no there. There's no wiggle room at all. Because I have a design actually on my phone I could show you. Oh my God, no. Oh, I'm hearing that's actually not allowed. So I can see you're really, really busy here. So I won't distract you any longer. Get going, all right. What am I looking for? Where's all the solar panels? Uh, I have solar panels on mine. Can someone put names onto my build? I don't think I'm going to have enough time to do the hot air balloon and the names. Oh, these stupid skeletons look like they're having a dance party. <laughs> I swear. Well, I just named a hot air balloon. I could name it uh, uh, um, Air Adventure. No, er, Daisy, or you could Daisy, call it birds, after bird. we need birds. Or no, the... No, albatross, 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 albatross. Albatross. Have we got ramps in? <gasps> ramps. We completely forgot. Why did I just look up ramps? I know there are no ramps in Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, James, you have one minute left to complete your bills. John can't handle this at all. Use your last few seconds wisely. John, calm down. Oh my God, Ropo, it's almost the end. The teams need to start hurrying up. We are coming down to the last seconds. It looks as if they're both going to finish on time, which is exactly what we wanted, so nobody is stressing. We're actually doing good. I think we're done. Benches! We never put in the benches! <gasps> I'm coming, 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 coming. Come in. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. So they're easy. They'll only take a second. I have them, I have them, I have them, I have them. What's left to build? There's a hole at the geothermal pipes, Kyle, that you need to fill in. Cameras. There needs to be cameras everywhere, like security cameras. Have we got screens displaying sign language? Sign OK, language. I'll do screens, I'll do screens. We need to do these screens. <laughs> Okay, teams, please stop in five, four, three, two, one, stop! Time is up! 
Well done, everyone. Give yourselves a big build of us because that was hard work. Well done, well done. Well, we've seen these incredible builds unfold before our very eyes and now it's time for each team to talk us through their creations before the judges make their decisions. Why, Vore, you're up first. Welcome to Legendland. You will arrive at Legendland only by public transport, such as Adros. Adros is a drone and a bus combined. Here we have the roller coaster Satanta. This roller coaster was made using timber. Timber is a very sustainable substance because it is light and renewable. The rock climbing wall was made using timber and the buttons on the wall were made using recycled plastics. If you're unable to use your legs, there are special harnesses that give you boosts upwards. The VR room is accessible for all as it lets anyone experience the thrill of all the rides. The gift shop has many recycled products such as wooden figures and stuffed animals made from recycled plastics. Over to you, Jamie. When designing our park and rides, we ensured all our rides were user-friendly and accessible. Drop to Atlantic. A vertical slider drops you into the water with our advanced scuba gear for our underground experience like no other. We have trained staff to facilitate wheelchair users to experience this also. The Other World Cafe. This cafe is, of course, underwater and caters for all. We also have a natural cafe above water. Buzzard Zipline. This is an area view of our park. We believe in adventure for all. This is why we have a special harness that allows wheelchair users and disabled to experience the trail of the park from the sky. One of the key aspects of our build is how we connect with nature, protecting our future. We take pride in our heritage, so we named lots of our rides after Irish myths and legends, hence the name Legendland. We also embraced Ireland's natural beauty whilst maintaining accessibility features such as screens displaying sign language, speakers for the blind, signs with braille on them and wheelchair ramps. From the depths of our natural aquarium all the way up to our buzzard zipline and our hot air balloon rides, we believe that we have truly created Legendland, the fun fair of the future. Great job by the blue team. The green team are up next. Welcome to Dowropia, where historic scenes from the village of Dower are given a futuristic twist in a utopian funfair. Dowropia is made to be accessible for all. This is made possible by our pod system. If you have mobility, hearing, visual or cognitive impairment, the pod may be perfect for you. The pods transport the passenger along the white strippy using magnetic levitation technology. Okay, so let's start with Boulder Dash on the ground floor. Boulder Dash is inspired by a local event that happened in 1928 where large boulders were washed down a mountainside following a huge storm. The aim of Boulder Dash is to get to the top of the hill by dodging the descending boulders' zorb balls. You can run up the hill or ascend the hill in a pod. Miles the Miller Wheel is named after the mechanical genius Miles McTague, who built a famed mill in our parish in 1919. Just like Miles' original wheel, this wheel will be powered by our millers fed by the River Shannon. The first floor is home to the haunted house, Duvalley Manor. The name is taken from an hour abandoned local manor. For the visually impaired, the emphasis will be on creating scares by sound, and for those with audio impairments, the visuals in Duvalley Manor will be emphasised. The second floor is home to the stepping stones. Before Dowra Bridge was built in 1843, people at Dowra crossed the River Shannon using the stepping stones. The aim is to cross using only the red stepping stones. The third floor is home to Hollow Dowra, where holograms are made feel real to the touch of aerohaptics technology, the use of precisely controlled jets of air. Hollow Dowra is currently projecting the Loch Allen maze. This lake is historically known to be difficult to navigate during storms. Lastly is the roller coaster named after William Howe, who in the 1800s endlessly petitioned to have a train run through Dowra. Thermoelectric generators in the pods capture body heat energy from its passengers to create electricity. The foundations and load-bearing sections of Daropia were constructed from ferrock. It actually absorbs CO2 as it binds. The construction of Daropia was carbon neutral. Thank you for listening to our presentation. We'll be looking forward to seeing you in Daropia. Our teams can do no more. Judges, their fate now lies in your hands. How do you feel about the two bills and the decision that you both now have to make? Hey guys, yeah, we know that we've got this big decision coming up, but we are blown away with how good these builds are. It is going to be so hard, so we're a little bit nervous about the decision, but I mean, someone's got to do it. Honestly, these teams did an amazing job. 
And I don't know about you, Ropo, but I think this is going to be one of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make in my life. 100%. This is going to be a tough one. Give us a minute. Okay, so while the judges are deliberating, let's check in with the blue team to see how they're feeling. Holly, are you happy with the build? Yeah, we got a lot of stuff done. Mm -hmm. Orla, did anything unexpected crop up? Yeah, the hot air balloon, we weren't planning to put that in, but we ended up putting it anyway. Jamie, what do you think of the other team's build? Their build's really good, but I think ours is good as well, so. I have to ask Orla, tough questions here. Do you wish you'd done a Mary Claire go round? Um, I'd rather not answer that question. <laughs> I understand. I won't hold it against you. I'll still trademark the Mary Claire go round. Over to the green team. Mona, are you happy with the build? Very happy. Like, we got it done in time, so I think we have a good chance. Amy, what did you think the best part of the whole thing was? Uh, the haunted house. Why the haunted house? Because I made it. <laughs> what do you think about Moivor's build? It was very good as well, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, very good. Very good. Well, guys, you did a great job. Now, our judges are just moments away from crowning a winner. But before our champions are revealed, we wanted to show examples of some more incredible builds from the world of Minecraft. They're very impressive. Mm. Now, keep an eye out as well, because you might spot somewhere that's familiar. <gasps> is it Leash? <laughs> this is Ireland like you've never seen before. Build the Earth Ireland are a group of people from all over the world who are working together to recreate the island of Ireland in Minecraft. In the last two years, over 100 builders aged between 16 and 21 have come together to construct over 500 incredible builds. Using maps and pictures, the team have been able to recreate iconic landmarks, towns and cities all across the country, including one very famous roller coaster. Each build can have up to 20 builders working on it at a time and can take anywhere from one day to several weeks to complete. With over 2 million views on TikTok, the team are only getting started. And if these builds are anything to go by, our island is going to look pretty special when it's done. Oh, I wonder what they do in my house. Well, this is the moment of truth. Our judges have reached a decision. Ropo and Riley, can you confirm that you have chosen a winner and the winner is in this very envelope? Envelope. Envelope. MC, we can confirm it was ridiculous. Ridiculously difficult, but we have made a decision. And uh, yeah, I don't think we can look. No, it's gonna be difficult, but both teams both did a fantastic job and they should all be proud of themselves. Unbelievable. All right, the time has come. The winners of the first ever Ireland's Future is Mine eSports competition and getting their hands on 30 brand new laptop devices for their school are... <sighs> St. Hughes! Congratulations, guys. Come on down here. Oh, my God. Well done. Congratulations. How do you feel? Amazing. Do you think all that work has paid off? Uh, yeah. We put a lot of effort into it, so yeah. And how nervous were you just now when myself and MC opened that envelope? Very nervous. Hold out your hands there. Oh, we're a bit shaky. We're a bit shaky. Well done. It was very nerve-wracking, but congratulations. Now, judges. Very tough job. How did you reach your decision? Incredibly tough. We had to go through absolutely everything, but we got there in the end, but both builds were so good. It was honestly one of the hardest things we have ever done. It was so difficult. The green team, they just had the slight edge on the better build, but it was very, very close indeed on the blue team. Guys, we need to commiserate with Moivor because they did an excellent job, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's it for the final of Ireland's Future Is Mine. Thank you to all the schools who entered the competition, to our judges and to, of course, our amazing finalists for this thrilling grand final. Now, all that remains is for St. Hugh's National School to lift their trophy. <laughs> <laughs>